All right, let's do this. What's going on, guys? Dave the Usher here. Uh, I was kind of in the middle of a workout. FedEx guy rang the doorbell, interrupted. So, uh, yeah, I might seem a little, you know, a little revved up right now. But awesome news. I got a big box here, man. And this is, this is indeed excellent. This is a good thing because this box is from Exotic Meat Market, and I'm going to open it up. I have no idea what's inside. Uh, I was talking to the uh, the owner of Exotic Meat Market, Anshu Patak, and uh, he sent me a, a fun box, a mystery box. So let's open this mystery box and let's check it out. Alrighty. Yeah, I think it's, I think I read uh, 11 pounds total. I don't I have no idea what's in here. So these boxes can be shipped like overnight or like, you know, two day shipping sometimes. Either way, it'll get the job done because he packs these things uh, with like dry ice and they're well insulated and like the styrofoam that keeps it, every, keeps everything all icy cold and chill. So, I don't know what this is at all. I have no idea. I have no idea anything about what's going on here, man. It's crazy talk. Uh, oof. Alright, well, I might as well, actually there could be spoilers in here. I think he said something about, man, this is taped, so I'm going to have to, uh, might cut a little bit, might cut a little of this out. Woo, alrighty, okay, let's do this here. Just, uh... Calm down, Bailey. My dog, it's loud noises. It's okay, man. It's exotic meat market. Bailey's over there. Some of you may know who Bailey is. Some of you may not. Why don't you guess? Why don't you take a guess? I'm talking about somebody over there. Okay, it's opened. Oh, oh boy. Uh... Uh, I'm looking at objects, but I don't know what they are yet. Like, and I don't know what's wrapped in this. That's interesting. Okay, so first thing off the uh, off the bat right here, I know what this is. Uh, yeah, this is woof. This is a smoked eel, smoked eel right here. I think it's frozen. I think. Um, yeah, it's a smoked eel. Tex brand. Smoked eel. All right. Words, words. Oh, wow, really? Nutrition facts. Uh, amount per serving. 100 calories, really, in this eel. It's frozen, so it's kind of hard to read everything because it's, um, you know, the stuff's all scrunched up together. Product of new... Product of New Zealand. New Zealand, all right. Oh, well, isn't this interesting? <laughs> oh, look at, look at this thing. Here, um, here, you can kind of see that. Yeah, man, yeah, this is a smoked eel. Which side is the face side? I think the face, the head's over here. Yeah, I believe so. There, right, I'm gonna hold it up. Oof, it is cold on my hand. So you check that out and kind of, there you go, you can kind of see it. This is smoked eel. I kind of had a feeling I was going to be sent one of these uh, on, on Chupatox Exotic Meat Market Facebook page. He's been talking about the eel and, and I just had a hunch on this one. Oh, that's cool, man. That's cool by me. I've eaten eel before, but I've never like had the, like a whole, never held like a whole eel like this. So that's kind of, that's new and exciting. This is exciting. Okay. Uh, that's all. That's all for now with that. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to reach in and grab something here. Oh, is this what I think it is? Oh, <laughs> I, bet, I bet you guys have no idea what this is right here. Some of you may have one as a pet. Okay, this will be, this is a whole guinea pig and you should be able to see that just fine this is a guinea pig man guinea pig you know in some parts of the world guinea pig is eaten at a more common rate man let me tell you 
Have I eaten a guinea pig? No. Am I going to be eating a guinea pig soon? Oh yeah. Oh, I very much intend to. I'm going to be eating this one. And no nutrition, no no nutritional facts on on this, which is a shame. I would kind of, I'm kind of interested in knowing how many calories are in a guinea pig. One guinea pig. Oh well. <laughs> Any of you have a pet guinea pig? Good stuff, right? All right. So once again, just kind of hold that up there. That's pretty close to you. So. There you go, man. All right. Guinea pig. I have never had a guinea pig as a pet. I've had a hamster. I've had a gerbil. Not guinea pig, though. Uh. All righty. So, um, I don't know what this is. Ah, okay. All righty. Oh, man. So, I mean, this thing's really frozen up. So it's kind of pr probably hard even if I show you. But it says right there, caution, oh my, okay. It says right here, this is a lionfish. Lionfish, like uh, the lionfish is like an evasive fish to what, like North American waters, like down south in Florida, Florida or uh, uh, other parts, I, I, you know, I don't even know. I remember seeing a lionfish at an aquarium. So now it's gonna be in my, my freezer and I'm gonna eat it. Uh, it says caution, it has spikes. That's what it's, it says right there. You can't, probably can't read the label too well, but I'll try and hold it up for you here. Yeah, man. Yeah, lionfish. I did a, a fish video of, uh, before, it was a paired fish and I actually had to fillet it, which is something I've never done before. And, if I do eat this, it looks like I'm gonna have to fillet it and not get injured by the spikes at the same time. I do have a flaying knife, but man, flaying is a difficult process. I guess it, it you know, it depends on the fish. Yeah, lionfish, good stuff. Okay, what's this? Oh no, more caution. Oh, well, well then. I don't wanna be careful how I hold it then. This is a scorpion fish now. We got a couple of fish here. We got a lot of uh, water sea food here. This is a scorpion fish and it too has spikes. So yeah, it's kind of hard to... I don't know if this has been filleted or... Good. Oh man. This is some... Uh, this is going to involve some crazy work here some of this stuff. So yeah, scorpion fish. Uh, I know less about the scorpion fish than the lion fish. I know like uh, the lion fish was accidentally introduced to waters and now it's like a pest. Uh, and so now we're eating them. But I don't really know about scorpion fish. Anybody? You know about scorpion fish? It's definitely heavier too. All right, so it might be tough for you to see it really. But that is a scorpion fish. Uh, that's all in the in the box. So let's get back to this. I don't I don't know what this is. Uh, why is it wrapped up? Extra protection. I would assume extra protection. But why? Uh -oh. oh, oh man. Okay, now this is extremely rare. This. This is the dry ice. Oh man, <laughs> it's, just, it's just the dry ice, that's it. Oof, yeah, cold. It's funny, um, I've never had it, you know, I've never had the dry ice wrapped up like extra special before. Just kind of funny. Yeah, I forgot about the dry ice. But yeah, that's dry ice. And it uh, looks like we got a couple of fish and uh, an eel oh, and a guinea pig. Here's the dry ice. I don't know. Does that do anything for you? Yeah. All right. The fish, the fish could be fun, but that's, I kind of consider that like more advanced type stuff, man. Uh, I remember from doing that parrot fish. But, but this, this kind of seems like a lot of fun. This, uh, the eel and the guinea pig here, especially the, gu the guinea pig. 
Oh, what is this going to look like, Defrosted? So, uh, yeah, good stuff, guys. Um, yeah, I'm going to supply a couple links in the video description below, like the Exotic Meat Market uh, website, where crazy stuff is at. You know, a bunch of, a whole lot of crazy meats, some wild game type stuff, and then some even crazier type stuff. Oh, uh, like guinea pig, I guess you could say. They eat this in Peru, right? Yeah. Uh, what is it called? Oh, what's the word? Starts with a C. I can't recall right now. Uh, but yeah, man, I'm gonna supply the link to the uh, the official website and also the Facebook page because he's always like making deals, um, you know, like um, coupons, 20% uh, off, 15% off of purchase type stuff, that kind of thing. Uh, and uh, yeah, so I'll be selfish and I'll say, hey, if you if you make a purchase. Um, Hey, mention my name. Say, hey, Dave the Usher, that crazy Dave the Usher guy wearing the XFL uh, Los, uh, Los, uh, Los Angeles uh, Extreme, LA Extreme uh, XFL jersey sent me here. It's an XFL jersey. Do any of you even know what the XFL is? Or maybe why I'm wearing one? I don't know. Anyway, that's not relevant to the guinea pig meat. So yeah, um, just mention my name, say, oh yeah, the crazy XFL Dave the Usher guy sent me here, and uh, yeah, good stuff. On Chupatak, the uh, owner of Exotic Meat Market, he's pretty cool to his customers, and he usually will send you um, bonus items with your order. Yeah, so this has been an awesome mystery box, unboxing, boppity bop, anything else? Bailey? Bailey, good stuff? It's a chihuahua, long hair chihuahua, by the way, if you're still wondering. All right, man, um, Anshu Patak sent me um, one of those water cookers, so yeah, the guinea pig, maybe? Yeah, that sounds right. I'm, I think I want to eat this really, really soon, and I think I might do it by means of water cooking, yeah? Um, oh, man, okay, I'm glad I... I was about to call it a wrap there, but I forgot about the envelope. I forgot all about it. <laughs> it's, uh, it's like a Christmas card. It is December 2014. The posting date should say that. All right, just a yeah, traditional card. Let it snow, wishing you joy this holiday and the happiest of New Year's. And uh, it says exoticmeatmarkets.com. Isn't that nice? Season's greeting from Exotic Meat Market. Go eat a guinea pig. Good stuff, guys. All right, well, that'll do then. And uh, thanks to Anshu Patak, of course. And check out those links, guys. And hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. Bye.